So what about saying the fuck word? Who gives a fuck, man? East Coasters, East Coasters are the nicest folks on earth. Nicest folks ever. These motherfuckers can cuss and make it sound friendly. We're so laid back that even at business meetings in the government, you'll hear motherfuckers in suits cussing up a goddamn storm. It'd be shit like, Mr. McLeod, nice to finally fucking meet you. Ah, uh, Mr. McLean, it's my pleasure, you goddamn cocksucker. <laughs> and they just laugh it off, man. Now, if we look back into the 90s sometime, I remember reading this Reader's Digest article. And now, this was a crazy article. I don't know if Reader's Digest did it themselves. Or it was some like independent study that was done. But what they did was they went to every major and capital cities. Now, I say major because I grew up in Moncton, New Brunswick. Now, Moncton is not the capital of New Brunswick. Fredericton is the capital. So they were like, oh, fuck, Moncton is actually the hub city. So we'll like throw some fucking shit in there. What they did, they went to every major and capital city in Canada, in Canada that I know, I believe they went into the States. Let's just talk about Canada for now. So what they did, they went into all these cities and they put 10 wallets in each city. And each wallet had a $10 bill in it and a little bit of contact information. And secretly, people watched. And now in my city, in Moncton, New Brunswick, it was the only city in all of North America to return 100% of all the wallets with 100% of all the money inside. Crazy. We must be fucking retards. You can all safely assume that everyone here on the East Coast is a fucking retard because of that. Very fucking retarded. <laughs> nice people, nice people. We are the nicest folks on earth because of that fucking rating. That is exactly why we have that name, Reader's Digest. Look it up, it's a great fucking study to read through. Now I lived in Ontario, man. And, oh, my mic cord's getting all tangled up here. I lived in Ontario for a while, and people in Ontario are cold. Now, I don't mean mean, but it's not that friendly East Coast nice kind of vibe, man. And it's easy to spot an East Coaster outside of the East Coast, because we're the only people who will talk to you. It is fucking weird, man. Like sitting on the bus in Ontario, and the lady next to you says hi, you know? And I mean, and it's not their fault, man. It's not these fucking Ontario Knights' fault. They haven't been prepared for socializing in public. It's crazy. I mean, who the fuck talks on a bus, right? Huh, huh. I mean, they'll sit there, they'll ignore us, and they'll make these weird, twisted, ugly faces. Like the lady on the bus, she's like, hi. And then the woman next to her is like, and they do like this weird, like curl up their nose and their whole head goes back and then fucking they get tense and their eye looks out the corner like a fucking raptor dinosaur. like, like, you think you're gonna get fucking eaten any minute. It's crazy, man, crazy. The, another time, walking. This is a real fucking example. Walking down the street, motherfucker's about to trip over like a, a misplaced brick or a stone or some shit coming up out of the fucking ground. And uh, I'm like, excuse me, sir. I'm like, buddy, you're gonna, you're gonna fall. And he like fucking whips around and it's just like some weird fucking shit. He's like, like, why the fuck are you talking to me? Like, dude did not care for the help. If it means socializing, he would rather fucking bam, hit his fucking face on the sidewalk and bust out all his front teeth. He would rather that than have the deal with someone being nice to him for a split fucking second. And then the next time, man, I'm eating a bagel at the bagel shop. Great Canadian bagel shop. And this lady out of the blue, out of the corner, she comes out from fucking, uh, turns out she's from Halifax. She starts talking to me. She's like, oh, I'm from Halifax, lad. Turns out to be Jan Arden's vocal coach. Networking, sons. Networking, man. We have a small population at home here on the East Coast. There's not too many people to pick and choose from. You know, you can't just ignore people from life forever. So we're kind of forced into being nice in that way. And uh, the message to everyone else that I have is the next time, the next time some friendly fuck wants to be nice or help you out a little bit, man, after all your dirty looks and your fucking raptor, after all that shit goes down, just fucking remember, okay? Just remember. It's simply an East Coaster trying to make it in this fucked up world that you've built. Such a crazy world, man. Such a crazy world.